Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I have a fun page for you. You may have seen it in the past. Um, I think it was pretty popular a couple years ago, but I decided I wanted to try it for myself. Um, gonna need two pieces of paper. One designer that is very different, like very contrasting to the other side. So one side is contrasting to the other, very defined, if that makes sense. Um, you're also going to need your 12-inch trimmer, a uh, piece of cardstock, and obviously some adhesive. And maybe some embellishments that match. Don't forget that I am looking to expand my community of advisors and scrapbookers. So if um, you want to have a beginner class, whether you're local to me or not, and get some free stuff, we can figure that out. Or if you want to join my team and... Be either behind the screen like this or around the kitchen table with a couple friends or holding big events. This business is a no pressure, um, no minimums, no sponsoring requirements, basically as little or as much as you want to do. Get your hobby paid for. So thanks for liking, following, subscribing, hitting the bell, and don't forget to check out my new website. I'm going to be adding some items on there that aren't available anymore. Um, so check it out, we're here, let's go. Okay, here we go. Now remember I've told you all about this little white line quite a bit. We're gonna make a couple frames today. So the first frame, this is the paper I'm using, it's Scrap Happy, and I'm using a piece of baby blue cardstock. Um, I love Scrap Happy, it's so fun for all my scrapbooking um, pictures, but it's also on one side totally different and not very scrapbooky. So check out all the papers because some some of them have a very fun design that has nothing to do with the theme on one side and then a themed piece on the other side. Um, so the first one we're going to make is a half inch uh, frame. So what you want to do is put this white line on the half inch. A fun tip is to use binder clips because then you don't have to think about it so much. So I'm just going to line this up on the half inch. It's kind of hard to see. you gotta got to tilt it a little, but there is a ruler right here on your rail. And I want to put this binder clip. And that's not going to work, guys. The binder clip is too big. All right, so we just have to do our best. So line your paper up at half inch. And you're gonna start at half inch. So again, just kind of look to the side, put that white line on your half inch on your ruler on your rail. And you're gonna come down here to 11 and a half. And once you get one cut, it's usually easier because you can see where to start. So half inch. to 11 and a half, which is really hard to see guys. And if you miss some, you can go back and snip it. Half inch to 11 and a half. And one more time. And this time you have something to shoot for so you can kind of see where you gotta go with it. Okay, so I know we need to clip a little bit right here. And we need to clip a little bit right here. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Then what we're gonna do is cut a inch and a half inch frame. So you're gonna line up an inch and a half and you're gonna start at inch and a half. And since this is at 11, we're going to go to nine and a half. So inch and a half to nine and a half. You got to do a little math sometimes. Inch and a half to nine and a half. Just keep rotating and doing that same thing. Again, you could use binder clips and then there's no thinking. You're just, I'll show you. So if we wanna do an inch and a half frame, you put this at inch and a half 
and you put your binder clip there. And then you go down to nine and a half and put your binder clip here so that it can't move. And we should have done this because it would have made it a lot faster. And then I didn't have to measure, I already had it. So put that aside, get rid of your binder clips. I love the binder clip trick. Now, whichever side you want facing up, which I think I want this side, you're gonna fold together so that you can't see it anymore. And we're folding on the diagonal. Just like so. And you could use your score blade. I would, that would be handy. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna line this guy up at the one as best you can. And you're gonna cut until you have two inches left down here. So I'm gonna cut to the six, because I want two inches down here. So I'm just gonna cut until I get to six. And you could, in theory, use a binder clip. And then you're gonna flip and do the same thing to the other side. And we're gonna go down to the six because we want two inches. Okay, so now what you have is this, you got some cuts, right? Let's put the trimmer aside, you don't need it anymore. And we're gonna do blue on here, followed by orange. And then this is gonna go in the middle. So what you wanna do is straighten this out a little and you're gonna push this under the other side and you're gonna line it up until there's like a half inch margin, but the points are gonna match. And you're gonna come down here and fold. And you're gonna do that to the other side. And now we have a perfect little pretty knot. Okay, and then of course you wanna tape all that down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do the underside first. Just put it back where I had it. Oh, maybe I didn't put it back where I had it. It's fine. Now we'll do this side. Guess you could start from your fold. There you go. Okay, there's your knot. Let's tape all this down where we want it. I like Scrap Happy. It's fun paper. I love the colors. I'm hoping on Thursday I can do a box opening for everybody with the new stuff. We have the new music and staff punch. Music staff and notes punch. Border punch. I'm excited. We go to a lot of concerts. So... It'll be fun for that, or if your kids or grandkids are in concerts, that might be fun. Um, the Showtime collection during this period is 10% off, and it includes the, the new punch. And then we have our destinations paper, which I'm super excited about. The Great Lakes I'm going to use for our lake, because or our lake trips and boating trips. Um... And then Florida, I just went to Florida, so I'm excited about that, or not just, it was a couple years ago now, but. Um, and then we have the New York paper, which I love Vegas. It's one of my favorite places. And so um, they have New York, New York, 
I've not been to New York, the actual place, but. So you can put this anywhere you want. You can put it like I just had it. You can put it like this. You can put it like this. You can put it like this. I think I'm gonna put it in the middle like this. And then I'm gonna embellish and add some mats. Um, I'm thinking this would be more of a cover page, probably. I have some stickers that I want to use, and I have some embellishments left. Let's see. I love this. I love this. I want to incorporate some yellow, I think. See if I have any yellow that matches that. Ooh, we do have embellish the little moments that match it. Oh no, that matches this one. Live to scrap. It's got orange. I really wanted yellow though. I'm not a craft hoarder. I just need a bigger craft room. Ain't that the truth? So I really wanted some smaller mats, but I like that. I think I'll just stick with that. And I have some more of these. I still have quite a few of the embellishments left. And here's some more. We could incorporate some purple or some more yellow. We might do more yellow. And then I even have these guys. Oh, there's another one of those and this. And I forgot I had made this. That'll be cute. Okay, so that was with the scissor punch and I just skipped a portion and then put some letters in there. Isn't that so cute? And I don't really wanna cover that up, honestly. And I'm not sure that I'll use that. That could go there. I wanna cut this in half. And then we have to decide where to put them is the hard part, isn't it? Because I don't really want to cover my knot up. Oh, you can go under the knot. Okay, that's cute. I don't think I want to use those and I doubt I'll use that. We have some stickers. Make sure you guys can see that well. I want to put this down here. That's a lot of blue though. So maybe this needs to go here. Add a little more yellow down there. Make memories wherever you go. Or I also like this one with this little yellow face. What happens at the crop stays at the crop. And then we can just put some, some stuff around it, like the trimmer. And here's the other trimmer.
And maybe we should pop this up actually. I'm probably gonna use a little more foam squares than normal because it's a sticker. I don't want it to stick back down. Oops, that's upside down. Cute. I like it. What do you guys think? I think we can tape this down. Okay, I hope you like that. If you need a 12 inch trimmer or some scrap happy, go right here and pick me, if you're not already loved by an advisor, of course, and look for my smiling face at checkout. Thanks again for liking, following, subscribing, and all the good things, you know, all the things. And don't forget to head over to Facebook to see my schedule of events. Some of them have Zoom options, and I would love to see your smiling face, whether you're local to me or not. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.